Are you ready to remember glycolysis in just three minutes? This video is just for you. You need to know three things to know glycolysis in three minutes. What are they? Your great grandmother, great grandmother actually, when she bakes pies. Remember, she baked pies and the pie itself and yourself with a smartphone all the time. So if you know these three things, you can connect and you can easily remember glycolysis within three minutes. So let's start. Glycolysis is a metabolic process of converting glucose into pyruvate and actually it is going through 10 separate stages. Okay, actually 10 steps are required with 10 different enzymes. So there are 9, 11 different intermediates. So let's talk about each of them. So the first part that I'm going to talk about is the steps or all the other intermediates of the glycolysis. And for that you need to know your great grandmother, a pie and the number 10. Why 10? Because it carries 10 separate intermediates. So let's begin to know the acronym and actually the mnemonic. Great grandmother throws fresh fruit dish and go by picking pumpkins to prepare pies. This is what you need to remember. Great grandmother throws fresh fruit dish and go by picking pumpkins to prepare pies. Now remember in this throughout this long sentence it's all about making pie and actually making pumpkin pie uh, by your great grandmother and the colors represented here in red means the the first letters represent the intermediates of glycolysis and the green letters are the important steps of glycolysis so let's begin with the first one so great it starts with g means glucose another g glucose 6 phosphate then FR, remember fructose 6-phosphate, FRU, what else is that? Fructose 1,6-bisphosphate, then DI, dihydroxyacetone phosphate, and then G again, glycerol dehyde 3-phosphate, then B, actually bi, you know, 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate, you also have a bi in here, then P, 3-phosphoglycerate. Then another P, 2 phosphoglycerate. Then another P, and actually it's P E P prepare. So phosphoenol pyruvate, which is also known as P E P. And then ultimately pies pyruvate. So that was starting from glucose ending in pyruvate. All the different intermediates of glycolysis. You can see 10 separate intermediates out there. So as there is 10 separate intermediates, you can also see the intermediates in the actual list taken from Nelson and Cox. And this book you can also see, we are going from glucose till pyruvate. And I told you this green colored drawings that we, that we showed earlier, that is di, pi. So all these things di is dihydroxyacetone phosphate. And you know dihydroxyacetone phosphate is the one which will which is a branch point of this glycolysis it's the middle of the glycolysis so any of the steps upward are known as preparatory phase that means in those steps in glycolysis they take ATP and the letter states after the di or dihydroxyacetone phosphate they are known as uh, the, the reproductive phase so in this case they produce ATP Okay, so that's how easy it is not only to know the intermediates but also to know the important steps. Now let's talk about the enzymes that are involved. To understand enzymes you need to know yourself with again thinking of pie because remember your grandmother prepared pie for you so you need to eat that pie but right now you're talking with the phone. So he put the phone and tried to get the plastic plate to eat pie. This is another sentence that you need to remember right so begins with he so remember this will be the list of enzymes required in every single steps so starts with if you look at here let me also show you the actual picture he he hexokinase and this is the first enzyme required in the first phase then p phosphofructoisomerase the second enzyme which is involved then another pho phos so obviously phosphofructokinase the third enzyme involved. Then A, aldolase, 
the fourth enzyme involved. TRI, triose phosphate isomerase. See, triose phosphate isomerase is the fifth enzyme involved. G, glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate dehydrogenase, sixth enzyme utilized. Then, P, phosphoglycerokinase, seventh enzyme. Another P, phosphoglyceromutase, eighth enzyme. E, what? Enolase, ninth enzyme. And PI, pyruvate kinase. So, it simply sounds like pi, that's why I took it. So pyruvate kinase, the last enzyme or the 10th enzyme of this process. So you see it's it's a rule of 10 with 10 enzymes and intermediates that are involved and it's all about your great grandmother preparing pie for you and then you're putting your phone try to get the plastic plate to eat pie. So hope you get an understanding of how to remember glycolysis in very very less time. So if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel to get more and more self-help education videos like that.